My name is Jose Dominguez. I started working for the county in uh, July of 2000. Vietnam veteran. Uh, after all the wars were over me, I was stationed at Reese Air Force Base, teaching students how to flight maps, takeoff procedures, landing procedures at Reese Air Force Base. That's where I met my wife, Debbie. There were a lot of times people would say, you know, that Sergeant Boatwright's giving me a lot of hell, and I'd say, well, I know she gives me the same amount, no matter what. But we always had our military uniform. We always called each other by our rank, or I call her Sarge. Um, we've been married almost 19 years, and I still call her Sarge because she's always had that attitude of my way or the highway. Being diagnosed with cancer, it's not something that somebody just says right away. Uh, you go in for a test because you're bleeding from your rectum and they, well, we have to set you up for a, an x-ray, your uh, MRI, a CAT scan, a colostomy. Uh, I, I don't know what they call it. They go up your, your bottom with a camera to examine all this. They scrape everywhere. Uh, again, more blood work, more CAT scans. Uh, you get some doctors that just want to cut you open and it, do experimental or exploratory to look inside you. Uh, me, I choose rather have other tests, but you use up a lot of sick leave and vacation, go to the doctor. Uh, you got to fast one full day. I'm a diabetic, so you can't eat, so you're shaking, so you can't work. Uh, some of you people might not be diabetic, so it's okay that you don't eat for 24 hours and you go in and they draw your blood and you have to wait for two or three hours there while they draw your blood. You get done, you eat lunch, go back to work, it's 12 o'clock. You just used up four and a half hours of your, sick, or your vacation or sick leave. Sick and you use up all your sick leave and annual leave. Uh, you have to try to get people to contribute to you, uh, which is a great program that the county has. Uh, but you have to use up all your vacation and sick leave. Once you complete it, uh, you fill out all the forms. Uh, you, you're asking people to help you by donating their annual leave to you for sick leave. How many times did you benefit from that? I have benefited from that so far three times. One from the first surgery for my colon, one for my heart attack when they had to do a four-way bypass, and right now this time has helped me. Now if people have less leave time, do you think people would still be able to give to you? Um, if people had not enough leave to donate, they also have to wor worry about themselves and their families too. I mean, uh, I'm happy that the people that donated to me donated, but in a situation that if they had to maintain their sick leave to make sure they keep their job, they won't donate. Uh, right now, uh, I think we're still in the old program that people aren't afraid of losing their job if they get sick. Uh, I don't know, uh, a lot of people might not have a, a heart bypass or uh, get the rib cage cracked open, but a minimum of healing time to get your ribs healed up is 40 days. Uh, and that's just a rib cage. So, Three months, you'll be out of almost close to running out of your your vacation and annual leave, so very quick. The which, yes, it is the current proposal that the county is trying to offer is three months. Uh, I don't know about a lot of people, but if you get your stomach ripped open and uh, they pull out your intestines and lay it on the table next to you, then they throw it back in you. I don't think three months you'll be able to go back to work, and I've had it done to me. The proposal that the county's offering us, three months. Uh, means somebody like me who has whatever amount of sick leave and annual leave will be afraid to donate because if I donate my sick leave, my annual leave and I were to get sick and I couldn't turn a wrench or I couldn't lift a hammer or I couldn't climb the stairs if I donated my sick leave and vacation to somebody else who is in need I would put, be jeopardizing me and my family because in three months if I get sick and I had to go get surgery, who's going to protect my job? That's not a lot of time to heal and healing is what's going to be the most important part other than your job.